the latest on that wildfire that shut down Interstate 95 for hours yesterday. The Florida Forest Service just releasing new information on the size of the fire burning in the St. Sebastian River Preserve State Park and the continuing effort to contain it now. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro is live near the area with the latest. Josh. Well, Tori, once we first got here earlier this afternoon, you could still smell smoke in the air as fire crews are still trying to continue to fully contain that tree frog wildfire. We're here at the southwest entrance of the St. Sebastian River Preserve State Park and uh, the Florida Forest Service says they changed their uh, area of acres impacted by this wildfire after doing an accurate survey overnight. They changed it to 1,200 and 30 acres impacted compared to their estimated of 1600 acres earlier in, in the day and yesterday. So right now the wildfire is now 60% contained. So fire crews are making progress today. There are no evacuation orders nor any homes or buildings threatened at this time. Still the winds are a main concern for fire crews as they hope it doesn't pick up and cause any spot over embers that may start a new fire. The Florida Forest Service says their defense lines they created yesterday are still holding strong and they have additional resources come here throughout the day as crews are continuing to mop up in the areas that are still smoldering and producing smoke. They estimated uh, they could be days to be fully contained because of the weather conditions. Right now, authorities say the cause of the fire is from an unattended campfire in the camping grounds in the preserve. Is we're going to be widening those lines to make a better defensible space for the containment of the fire and we're going to be continuing to watch those spot overs so just really be aware of our current weather conditions and if you're going to do any sort of recreational activities uh, to be aware that uh, something as simple as not attending to your campfire or driving through these tall grassy areas can start a wildfire now, there are signs here at the entrance saying that the red trail is closed because of the wildfire. Now, authorities with the Florida Forest Service is urging everyone to postpone their recreational activities such as hiking and walking through any nearby trails until the fire has been completely contained or suppressed. For now, we're live in Felsmere this evening. I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5.